Today students we are going to learn chapter 1.3 of standard 6 autobiography of the great indian bastard so come along let's enjoy it this video was made just for you do remember to like share and subscribe your school teacher must have often told you to write a biography as part of your essay writing so you must have written a lot of biographies on various topics some animate and some inanimate objects now you are well aware of the meaning but let me explain to you what is the exact meaning of autobiography the word autobiography is divided into three words auto which means self bio means life and graphy we could interpret as a story so this the word means the story of my life so here is the autobiography of a great indian bastard so let's listen to his story from his own words which is the heaviest flying bird in india so here the topic opens up with a question so such questions are called rhetorical questions so in a rhetorical question we do not have to give an answer so rhetorical questions are questions where an answer is not expected from you but the speaker may ask the question and may give the answer himself so and sometimes what happens is the answer is obvious from the question itself here the great indian bastard is telling us its story and it's asking us a question which is the heaviest flying bird in india and telling us that well friends it's me the great indian bastard so it's telling us proudly that it is the heaviest bird heaviest flying bird in india so it's a great indian bastard and further it's saying i feel proud to be known as a great indian bastard so it's proud to give that title to be given the title of great indian no other bird is called great indian so he's saying i'm very proud to be called the great indian now he further continues i have more than 30 different names in various indian languages so it's saying that in different parts of india it is called in different names in marathi i am known as maldok or hum i can weigh up to 18 kilos so here it is telling us that it is 18 kilos in weight so yes we can vouch for it that it is one of the heaviest bird and can stand up to 4 feet in height so this tells us that it is a tallest bird so further it is telling us reaching up to your shoulders or even higher so it telling us that the bird is as high as you as high as you i have got a long white neck so now it's describing itself so we can look at the illustration also i have a long white neck brown wings tall yellow legs and a black cap on my head so that tuft of hair that we can see in the illustration so that it is calling the black cap isn't it looking very elegant in this little you know the, the tuft of hair it looks like a cap on its head okay then it continues that my wife mrs bustard is smaller and slimmer so isn't it a funny way of listening to this the bird calling its wife mrs bustard so whenever you have to write an autobiography you can take a lot of points lot of ideas from this particular topic okay so let's continue so he says my wife mrs bustard is smaller and slimmer smaller in size because it weighs about 4 feet so mrs bustard is little smaller than 4 feet and slimmer slimmer means little thinner than i am and her neck is not white so it is little bit a uh, black or brown in color but i have heard you men say that we both look impressive so he is saying yes you humans like me very much so you all you all have said that we both look very elegant we look very beautiful we look very great together you all are very impressed by our looks <coughs> In this paragraph it is describing its habitat and its food habits. So it says that I live on grasslands and deserts. So in both the type of land it lives where there is grass and where there is no grass or vegetation. So I live on grasslands and deserts along with my other 
friends including chinkara and black bugs and larks the chinkara and black bugs are a kind of a species of deer and larks are birds they are big birds i eat everything including snakes lizards small fruits and berries and all sorts of insects so it is describing what all different fruits it is uh, sorry food food it eats it not only eats other insects but also small fruits and berries that's a very healthy habit so it's saying it's a very healthy habit to eat all kind of food so it is advising us that we should also eat a balanced diet we should not to, you know stick around to just one type of food so we should eat a balanced diet but grasshoppers and beetles are my favorite food items so its favorite food is grasshoppers and beetles so if you look at the illustration over here we can see that is thinking of the grasshopper and its mouth is watering so whenever we also think about our favorite food we our mouth waters and we want to have it okay now it further continues and it says when it is raining we all gather at our favorite grass grasslands where there are no people to disturb us so he's saying we go and collect at the grassland because when it's raining all grass is grown so they collect over there and they say that there is no people disturbing us so there are people who you know want to catch them kill them destroy their habitat so they collect at one place where people are not there i perform a wonderful dance by gulping air gulping air means taking a lot of air in its mouth okay or gulping swallowing it in the special feathery pouch attached to my neck so at the neck it has a pouch pou pouch like thing okay so small bag like uh, you know a, a bag like thing on its inside of his neck so it takes a lot of air in that bag and then this pouch helps me to produce a resonating sound similar to one produced by the cow that is hmm sound so resonating is vibrating the sound that repeats itself so that sort of a sound it makes with the air that it has gulped in this feathery pouch so this this sound is similar to the sound that we make while breathing doing the breathing exercise in yoga that is the om sound we breathe in and then when we are breathing out we make that om sound and when we make that om sound we can feel the air inside our body vibrating resonating so we can easily make out how this bird is doing by doing that exercise the yoga breathing exercise and doing the omkar exercise i dance in joy with puffed out feathers and cocked up tail and drop down wings so it starts dancing with joy with with you know happiness and how what does it do while dancing it puffs out its feathers puffs puffs out means uh, try to you know show the feathers to be little big you know to spread out the feathers and cocked up tail means again the tail also it will try to spread up it will put it up and drop down wings so its wings are down so this helps me to impress my soulmate impress means to try to attract its soulmate so the soulmate that is the female gender the female gender of the great indian bustard will get very impressed will like it and will be friend it become its friend so that is how it will attract the female gender that is soulmate so friend to become its friend answer the following questions and write your answers in the comment section below do solve the textual exercise and to check the answers for the textual exercise and for more free worksheets please visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com this is end of part 1 for a complete lesson do watch the second part